Okay, so this is the what we get so far in this uh, remodeling room. So what we have here, we have wires, as you can see, wire here, and there is another wire here, and there is another wire there, and the same thing here, wire, wire, wire. You can see the wire here and the wire here. This wire will be connected to an LED light, okay? And there is another wire here, as you can see, this wire here will connect to the fan. This actually is a three-wire wire. Three wires wire or cable? It's the two-wire cable, okay? So that is for the fan and the light. And what we have here, and that's what I want to talk about, that's the junction box, okay? So here I have the junction box. And what is a junction box? A junction box is a box that has number of cable, okay, that each cable will connect to each other, but only one of them, this wire, actually supply the hat. The rest will take the hat from here, they will connect it to it, okay? So here in this room, what I have, I have one wire that going to the LED lights, I have the other wire, this other wire going to the motor, okay? And I have another wire here that supply the hat. Okay, so that's what I want to show you how I'm going to connect connect this wire together in order to finish this junction box. I just want to talk about this box you see that I actually have here. This box, if you can look here, there is kind of an handle here. And this one, so what I had to do, I had to push it inside. Okay inside and it's carry three cables as you can see here so this is a box that you see here it's actually this box and this box as you can see here the screw and there is an handle here and what happens if you actually going to drive the screw what's happened it will attach this handle to the drywall here as you can see so that's what i'm going to do now i'm going to attach this box first to the to the drywall and to do it, what I'm doing, I'm taking this drill, okay? And I just start to drive the screws. So here's the second screw here. That's it. So after you attach it with these two screws here, just make sure it doesn't go by just pressing here. And here, with your finger, and you see it's very strong inside. Okay, so we finished attaching this box. Now we're going to connect this wire. As you can see, this wire is very long. Uh, it was a kind of a main purpose. You know, sometimes it's better to have long wire than to have short line wires, okay? What I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut them in such a way that uh, we can connect them together and put them inside to this box. See what I'm doing? I'm cutting the cable, maybe one and a half inch, out of the box. Remember, I can push it back to the box after that, with no problem. So here is one, and here is the second one, and that is the third one. So now we have three wires, okay, and what we need to do now, we need to remove the insulation from the cable, and that will be done by using utility knife. Okay, so what I'm doing now, I'm taking the wires, as you can see here, and I'm just removing, I'm just removing the insulation. I have to be very careful, you know, because it's using knife, it's quite dangerous. Okay, so this is one. Okay. This is the second one. And that is the third one. So we have now the three of them insulation removed. We just need to remove a little bit more insulation, which I will do and I'll show you the end result. So you have removed the insulation. So you have one wire here, two wire here, and the third wire here. Okay, now remember they're out of the box, but I can actually push them easily in the box. You see here and here, very easy. So don't worry about it because they're out of the box. They will, they will go inside to the box very easily. 
So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to really remove some insulation, probably half an inch insulation from each hot and each neutral. You can see, actually we have three cables here, so we have three hot, three neutral, the white color is neutral, and three ground, okay? So all the ground should be connected together, all the hot, which is the black color, should be connected together, and all the neutral should be connected together. That's what meaning junction box. So to connect the wire together, you can use a wire twisted okay, connector here, as you can see here in my hand. Or you can use this new wire connector here, okay? And I prefer to use this one. Uh, first, this one is even, to buy stuff like that, is even cheaper than this. And when you buy stuff like this, uh, you really need to buy a little bit bigger than this. So this is going to give you more comf comfortability to work with. In addition to it, you can see here the the short will be here. So when you when you connect a wire to these holes, holes and all they will be shorted here. And this one can actually end up from 12 to 25 gauge. So you have here you can actually have here easily uh, 15 amps in this. Uh, connector. So here what I'm doing, I'm using a utility knife in order to remove insulation from the wires, okay? So you can use other tools, but I feel comfortable with a utility knife. So it is very easy to remove. Okay, we already have as you can see here, one that we remove. So this is the neutral already. I remove the insulation. And here is the hat of the same cable. I'm going to remove the insulation. Insulation and remove one from the white and one from the black. So I'll continue removing the insulation from uh, all the wire now. And I'll show you the end result. Looking after I remove the insulation, you can see I put these three hot here together, these three white here together, and these three ground together. And now I'm going to connect them together with the connector uh, that I showed before. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to connect it to this connector. You see you have three connectors here. So I'm going to push all the neutral wire inside this connector. One. You really need to push it strongly because two and the third one three. So you can see if you look very carefully you can see that the three couple are here already between three. So I'm doing I'm going to do the same thing for the hat. Here are the hat. There are three hats here. Okay. So I'm going to take the first one and push it in, which is sometimes it's tough. So here, yeah, one here. The second one is going to be here, and the third one. If you look what I'm doing here, okay, see here, I'm going to push it, that's it. So if you look carefully, you can see the three wires here, okay, three copper here is connected together, okay, that's meaning the three of them connected. Now we have this ground and for the ground what I want to do is I really want to put them together first and to put this one first okay. here I connected the ground together but then I'm going to take the sleeves as you can see here okay it's a, it's a sleeve so I'm putting it all of them together and then I'm going to use this plier okay just to really 
put them, push them together. Okay, this is important because, okay, after I did it, I'm taking this connector now. So with this connector, I can connect three of them if I want with no problem. These, you can see already, they are a little bit taller. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut them. Okay, I'm going to give him a haircut. Okay, now I'm going to just push them here. Each one to the all. So we have, okay, that one is not pushed yet enough. Okay, so we have now all of them connected and we just need to push it inside okay so look what i'm doing here i'm just taking it up put it here put this one here and so that is the connection box junction box all the connection is being connected together so what we have left is only to put the box so that's the cover of the box okay this one and this one Okay, so two box, two screws here. So that's the way our junction box look like, as you can see here.